Hey there. Well, when I've watched Hollywood blockbuster movies made over the past decade or so, which I've done less and less of as time has gone on, I end up constantly thinking things like, that character doesn't make any sense. The way they carry themselves doesn't line up with the storyline. So many of the characters that you just, I mean, just anywhere, I mean, background characters, foreground characters, whatever, so many simply aren't responding and acting and doing things that people in real life would do if they were in those same scenarios. Where is the realism and genuineness that makes me care about the people I'm seeing on the screen? If you want some 90s examples, compare Priscilla, Queen of the Desert to Tu Wang Fu. Priscilla was a masterpiece as far as I'm concerned. You know, everyone was who they were supposed to be. It just, just, you just, it felt genuine. It was really good in that way. And then you had Tu Wang Fu, which was a steaming pile of garbage from beginning to end, but especially the end. Tu Wang Fu is more along the lines of typical American blockbuster type of, or attempts to be blockbuster types of entertainment that we have today. Though if that movie were made today, there would be people complaining that, uh, well, those aren't real drag queens playing those parts. They should be real drag queens, you know, or something like that, right? Because acting isn't really that important. It's representation. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> but, you know, when it comes to how our entertainment industry has become, it's sometimes hard to tell who's at fault. The writers, the actors, the directors, the casting directors, unhealthy foods. I mean, it'd be easy to solely try to blame it on DEI, as well as so many organizations that are dedicated to trying to influence our entertainment. And there are many of them which I do think has severely degraded a lot of our entertainment, but I think that's an easy scapegoat. Normally, when the entertainment industry had to deal with unnecessary restrictions, they found a way to thrive and still make great entertainment. If it really is all about the restrictions and requirements, then what makes these new ones so much more nefarious than ones in the past? How were they able to make so many good movies in the 1950s when there were tons more restrictions than we have now? I've wondered whether we've perhaps reached a point where there's really nothing new that we can try to make people pay attention to anymore. I mean, with these, uh, people are on top of anything that might be new, right? So how is a movie going to, to make people think about anything new? If you watch Star Trek The Next Generation, so many of the messages they cram into every episode to try to make you pay attention to something, you know, which at the time were new things to pay attention to, are so inoffensive and non-controversial that you'd have to wonder what kind of people were we back then to find offense in any of it. But now, instead of trying to push any particularly new ideas, or teaching important lessons that work no matter what kind of belief you have, no matter what kind of worldview you have, the industry seems intent on trying to make people look at everything a very particular way, through a particular lens. Instead of opening people's minds, we're trying to close them down in order to make them view everything through a particular ideological lens. I think people can handle being preached to if it's done in a creative and absurd way. This is why Barbie worked. Again, I really, really, really enjoyed that movie, even though it's a giant piece of propaganda. But is that the future of our entertainment? Who knows? I hope not, anyway.